for the NPD were only allocated at that time, not decision made. Okay, but it's a question. Okay, was so it were they allocated? Was it only allocated? It was. 2012, 2013. 2013 and 2014. Okay, what? Can you say All those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions in Spanish. And then you're next one, okay? So I'm going to continue. Para que estos vienen en español, voy, voy a repetir los siete respuestas que tiene Angélica en español. <coughs> now, question number one: Who created the budget for 2013 2014? Uh, la pregunta es: ¿quién es el creador del presupuesto? ¿Quién? ¿Quién es el creador? ¿Quién, quién hizo la, la I was, really was going to ask it anyway. Okay. okay. Number two is: Was it an allocation for approval for the project? Uh, la pregunta es si este cinco mil dólares cuando nosotros votamos es apoyar el proyecto. La pregunta es si esos cinco mil dólares cuando votamos es para apoyar el proyecto. Y esa es una pregunta. Uh, do we have any way to measure what? The results are, I guess, from the services, I guess, of the previous bicentennial parades or stakeholder participation. La pregunta en español es, si nosotros tenemos un modo a calibrar cuáles son los resultados de tanto dinero pagando, tanto dinero pagando, tanto dinero pagando, cuántos vecinos apoyan al concejal de vecindad 90032, cuántos vienen a las juntas. ¿Cuántos ganan la información? So, la, la pregunta es, ¿cuáles son uh, 
maneras de calcular cuáles son los resultados de, de ofrecer dinero. Question number four. What is the total cost of the parade? Está preguntando cuál es la totalmente que cobra o de, de, de gastos. Digo, ¿cuánto es lo totalmente de gastos del desfile? Totalmente. Pregunta número cinco. ¿Cuáles son los miembros del Bicentenio Comité, el Comité Bicentenio? Eh, pregunta número seis. Hay, si sí hay, hay algunos miembros del, del Comité Bicentenio que se están pagando. Pregunta, no sé, porque nosotros no sabemos. Otra pregunta es, si nosotros tenemos información de los taxes. So oh, those are the one, two, three, seven. Estas son las siete preguntas en español. Tiene más todavía. Never mind. Um, you can think about it. Oh, oh okay. ¿Cuándo tiene las juntas para el oh, Bicentenio? When I mean, 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 okay. Public. When? Uh, we probably will. If, if I can't answer it, I'm going to try to find an answer because these are just answers that we should probably have. But these are just questions we should have answers to write. When are public meetings for Bicentennial Committee? Okay, Yolanda, do you have any questions right now? No, I, I asked the question if we could allocate money from other categories right. so we'll increase, the, increase the MPG um, amount. Other than that, Fair enough. Okay, so ahora vamos a ir por a, la, a la parte de la primera pregunta y ya vamos a dar las respuestas. So we're going to start with the, answering these questions. We're going to start with the public or, or stakeholders first. The first question is, on item number six, I believe, did come from Yolanda. Can we allocate from other categories? ¿Es posible sacar dinero de otras categorías y ponerle en esta? That answer is yes. It is a possibility. We can absolutely allocate from any category to another as long as this committee makes a recommendation and then the board will approve it. So there is possibilities for moving money around on the budget. Uh, la respuesta es, primero la pregunta, ¿es posible mover dinero de una categoría a otra? La respuesta es sí. Sí se permite cambiar el dinero. Si ocupan más, si ocupan menos, se permitan dinero en, en otras categorías. Sí, es una oportunidad nuestra. Nuestro comité de tres hacer una recomendación. Esa recomendación va a la mesa y luego la mesa hace decisión. Nosotros solo, vemos, solo menos avisamos. Uh, pero la respuesta es sí es posible sacar de otras categorías. So that, I'm going to mark down that that question was answered. And then yes over here. Underline it. We've answered it. The next question comes from Michelle. Why is the decision of $5,000 of support being changed? ¿Por qué la decisión de los $5,000 dólares de soporte se está cambiando? The reason why it's being changed, or not so much that it's a reason, sort of justification of why we're doing this or following this process is because we become aware that there's multiple organizations requesting from the MPG category. So it seems unfair that we would allocate all of our funds to one entity. So that, that would basically be the answer. If you want to give an answer, you can provide an answer, but why is the support being changed? To all fairness, can you um, give examples of what other organizations, just so we have an I, idea? Yeah, I, they uh, came to us. Asking, Oof, and goodness. then also, are we going to be asking from all these organizations everything that is being asked right now by Centennial, mm -hmm. as far as they But how can you work to oh, okay. As far as paperwork and the compliance, are we going to you know, ask them all the questions? I know there is a process, so I'm not too concerned about bicentennial um, standing because there is a possible we check them in paperwork. They have to submit the paperwork that is required. So I'm not too concerned about that, but I'm just, I want to know. If we're going to be reallocating money from other categories, I want to know, I want more facts on who's asking for money, how much money can you ask? What will we get to Well, part of her question was, are we going to be doing this to all people requesting? The answer is yes. And the second question, or she was asking first, but the second half of it, is what other groups have come to ask for money? I, I, they're all in my notes here. But the only one that I could remember specifically who came to our general board meeting and stood over there in public comment section, and he says, hey, we sing. We sing for the senior citizens. I think they do it in Highland Park, whatever, but they wanted to come sing at the Senior Citizen Center and use Neighborhood Purposes Grants for... Did they submit a Neighborhood Purpose Grant request? Well, what happened, what happened is we sort of declined them. 
I'm going to let you know. What happened is we declined them because there's no money to give them. So instead of trying to allow the process to be open, have them be inclusive, that's right. We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Really quick, though. I have, I have a hearing disorder. I really need to do this. Yes. I can't hear. So it's hard. I have trouble hearing you as well. I'm so, what? I also have trouble hearing you as well. You speak very well. Well, I know. Well, I, I, have, I have a hearing disorder. So I'm sorry if, if I ask you to repeat yourself on certain things. That's because I'm wondering if you were recording the last time you had an issue with it. So I do have a hearing problem. and make it public so everyone knows <laughs> in case I ask you to repeat yourself. Para que sepan todos, ella tiene una desobediencia o una médico problema con los oídos y no oye o no escucha tan bien. A veces, eh, se, con permiso, se pide otra vez a, a preguntar su respuesta. Can, can you talk? Okay. I'm going to try to make it very informal. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so, okay, so I'm, I'm kind of like lost why I have a hearing disorder. So I and you mentioned something about them not being at the meetings at the general board meetings, but yet we gave money to the Wholesale Dress Center, two thousand dollars. I don't see anybody from the Wholesale Center at the general board meetings. This has this reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, the board, LA thirty two, I'm saying we as part of LA thirty two, we give money to these nonprofits or to these organizations, and that should be part of your policy. You know, that they need to be present at three four meetings or to clean up work or to volunteer work at the Pike Festival, something like that. Not just for one group, but for everyone. I haven't been received for the World the World Health Work Center, nor receipts have been submitted from those two other dollars. How do we know that it will spend somewhere else? Okay. And then another thing too is like I'm part of the selling. Nobody has asked me for receipts for two thousand dollars for that kind of that. How are you going to send it somewhere else? Right. And yet you are, it seems like if I can see they did something wrong, you know, yeah, not at all, I just didn't learn by that. But not at all. It's the only organization that has come back and not the money for that. So we don't have to run the money. That's not what we said. You have the money? You get, I agree to all of the questions that the money is not invested. Okay. But I'm saying, I don't, okay. Right. They're asking for it, and I understand they're just wrong. They're asking for the money for the money for the money. Is the, is the right? Yes. Okay. So I just want to make sure I clarify that. So my understanding, there's nothing picking it in any, I don't know where this is coming from or where this rumor is on it. The, the thing is, I've had a series of questions and we can spoke. You quoted the bylaws of your committee, of your organization, but you don't provide them. You tell me that your income or your tax um, was uh, suspended for a certain amount of years because the previous former treasurer didn't file and there was an issue there, but the documents are, are no longer available. That to me is questionable. So to me, that we're being held to a higher standard to protect taxpayers' dollars. We work very hard for our, our taxpayers' dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So my question is, in no way at all, is it just saying this organization? We plan to do this to everybody. The thing is, when the dialogue is connected, and we think we try to communicate, so that there was, I asked, how much was the bicentennial parade last year? Then you told me 7000 You showed up to the general board meeting with the receipt of over $19,000 on your 2013 parade. Then I asked, okay, you told me there's no taxes filed from, uh, I guess, two years ago because it's been under $10,000. A lot of the things that you're stating are incorrect. I want to make sure that it no. clarifies. No. No. Are, are you and I going to have a conversation here? Because if we are, then I'm going to be defending. Is I'm going to be defending what we're going to be I need your cut. I'll give you an opportunity to answer. These are the questions. I have to know that were sent I need for you guys to know that the information that she is giving the other community members is incorrect. Okay, well, sure. Maybe sure. Sure. Tell us exactly. All she's doing is indicating that she's had questions, and I want to. If I can't get the answer, I'm going to guide to you first. Your own okay, well, I'm going to I'm going to defer to you next because I don't have the answers. Yeah. So, so you're automatically going to have a chance to speak. I'm not doing it. I'll do it. So my questions have been driven from those particular situations. Is that you know we? My question was okay. When are the next meetings? Um, it's only for board members. It's only for members. So when is the next public meeting? No response. I never hear that. I would like to, before I even even looked into this item, 
my biggest thing is I want to go to one of their meetings. I want to see what their setting is like. I want to know what they do. I want to know what their organization is about. The thing is, in no way would I ever try to take something away from the community that's good for the community. The thing is, I want to make sure that these $5,000 actually go directly to the parade and no one is getting paid a salary. So here's my question. I said, is it 100% volunteer? He said, yes. No one is getting paid. So why not just provide a tax form that shows that there is no one getting paid? So the you're assuming that there is a tax form. <laughs> the question is, it always comes back to, if there's a question to how the organization is run, here's the thing, if you're going to have meetings, when are they public? I waited at the library for an hour, it was told. You called me, emailed me an hour later that it was canceled. How does the community know that these meetings and events are happening? How do I know? That was my that. question. Then my other question is, who are the board members that are on your committee? Because I know, I think these are legitimate questions the community should know. It's nothing hidden. And you can be transparent online. And, and I want to be transparent with you. The thing is, we want to work with the organization. I have no problem working. I even said I would volunteer with the five contenders, but I want to know more about and then what But you're not giving me that opportunity to what know about the bicentennial parade. It's more like, it's only for members only. I can invite you to a meeting. That was your email to me. You can invite me to the meeting, but when is it open to the public? When does the public know about this? How is the public getting involved? What are your finances like? Is anybody getting paid? When I started questioning all this, instead of you saying, here's the information, and if there's nothing to hide, it's more like, I'm not going to respond to you. And you avoid me. You don't respond to my emails. You don't come. I, I don't have a problem at all if this information can be provided just because we're held to a higher standard with taxpayers' dollars. We need to make sure that it's going back into the community and it's not going into somebody's salary. Paycheck, organization, I don't know. I, I don't know. Do you have any Wait, can I finish? I want to finish. She took all the questions. Yeah. question? Is yes. it still a question um, format? Question well, because I want to, I want to be able to answer the question. So are you going to ask the question so that we can answer? No, are you responding to, to why is the decision of five thousand dollars for support being changed? That yes, was the last question. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you know, um, I am not part of the All Human Rights Committee, okay, so you clarify this. But I mean, um, Dennis's intention, Dennis's intention is really good. I think the dialogue between you two, what, somewhere. There's not a. Why? And some people say, well, why are you only picking on the Bicentennial Committee? 
Well, the reason is, they're the only ones listed on the budget. Had it been someone else's name, we'd probably be asking them. If it would have been the Stallions, we'd probably be asking the Stallions. If it would have been Rose Hill, we'd be asking any group. Because what's, what, we're, what us committee members are noticing is that somehow a decision was made, we don't know how yet, that's what we're trying to get to, that all the money on the budget is going to a single group. We're not picking out anybody. They've already been identified. So us as committee members, Yolanda and, and Angelica and myself, we're not targeting the Bicentennial Committee. We're not. All we're doing is saying, if they're the only ones on the budget, then who else do we approach? And I'm going to add something else to this, though. So we would next to approach the Bicentennial Committee. No, not the word. I'm going to give it a chance. Okay. So okay. That, that's the reason why. So just so the committee member knows. I was there at Roy Rogers when you guys were talking about it. You and the committee were arguing against that. I don't know if I can tell you because I was there. I know. And it was just like that. It was approved by the board members. In that meeting, so you the as the committee chair, you should have all your meeting, meeting notes right, regarding right. your any decision based on your schedule. Right. So well, before, before, we, before we before we go over, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Jenny out. Well, so There's be all in here. Can you see them? It's probably documented. Right. Yeah, yeah. Feel free if you want to go find the page. Go ahead. Just. So the, we're still on the same question. Why is the decision of five thousand dollars to support being changed? You've heard some of the questions here. It's Jenny, I want you to give you I'll give you five minutes, I'll time it. I don't care what the clock is over there, because we still have almost a whole hour to speak, so I'm gonna put five minutes rather than three and give you an opportunity to speak on anything. I have a lot of information I said you don't yeah, just to clarify, there's absolutely no uh, intention or motive behind it. It's just a question. It's not saying that the organization is as well. It's just saying we have questions, like we're going to question everybody else to make sure taxpayer dollars are being utilized. Now, Yeah, I'm going to start the time now. Go ahead, Jenny. So, the Bison Committee is one of the largest long-standing organization here in our street, okay? Um, I understand that there's a process for doing everything. When I came to ask you guys from the head and just knocked on the hey, can I have some money? I submitted all of the appropriate paperwork that done. The city of Los Angeles requires us to submit and fill out, okay? That all got sent in. I filed, I did all of the appropriate steps, which keep getting changed every time I come to a meeting. No, now you have to go here. No, now you have to go here. Actually, this goes over here, even though it gets voted on, even though it gets approved. Okay? If there is anything else that is just that you guys decide, you know what? We're going to set a new standard for all of the MPGs that come through here. Now we're going to require them to submit X documents. Okay? That seems like it should be a conversation taken off in LA 32. Voted on by you guys as well. Motion can have a due process before you even come to me and tell me this is what I'm requiring, this is what I'm requiring, this is what I'm requiring, all of a sudden. Okay? Now, you sent me an email using your NC neighborhood council. Okay. Later on, you tell me, oh, they weren't through the NC council, they were a person. So you're, sw excuse me, so you're switching back and forth on, your, on the information you're requesting. When you and I did speak over the phone, I was like, okay, great. I was really excited. The committee was excited when I threw your name out there. Because at the budget and finance meeting where the allocation occurred, that one, I was there as well. And I told you, Anthony, like, you should allocate $10,000 to the MPGs because we are not the only nonprofit organization that can come request the money. But still, you only collect $5,000 and you allocate it. Right? Which I don't have a problem with because I'm requesting $5,000. Okay? So you, I made it very clear that there is a possibility that other organizations would come and ask for this money. So it, it shouldn't blindside you that, oh, all of a sudden more people want money? What? And now you're going to take it from me? That's not right. And by me, I mean that. Um, when I spoke with you, Angela, um, you asked me all these questions. And I said that you need to understand how nonprofit organizations work. 
what forms it is that we need to submit, how things work. I spoke to you very informally, what I thought was informally. Um, and I told you, listen, we're getting ready for this event coming up, for Christmas, which the license is co-sponsored with the Bumpton Arizona and with the, the CD14 office. The Christmas event that happened right here, where the whole street was shut down, we gave away 700 toys to the kids in the community, completely free event. The events at the Bicentennial community are always free to the community, unless it's a fundraising event. But then it's not to that magnitude. We do not make money from that. I told you that none of our, no one in the Bicentennial community gets paid. I told you this. You asked me, well, how is that happening? I'm like, yeah, in bylaws, the way nonprofit organizations, some are, are allowed to pay money to their directors. We are not any of those. In our articles of incorporation, from one group in 1976, they put it very specifically that no directors from the Vice President shall receive any form of compensation. Okay. I was willing to go to the CD14 office with the wheels and show you everything that we had. I told you, I have no problem. I can show you all of the permits that we are combined with the city, with the county, with the state, with the federal, with absolutely everyone. I said, I just need time. Because we have this event going on, because the holidays were coming on, because we have so much, so many things going on that I'm sorry, I cannot just drop a hat and you know come out and show you everything. There's no way that you can possibly understand how a nonprofit organization works in a five-minute phone call. You know, our phone call lasted well over an hour, as I recall. Okay, so I told you, okay, we were automatically revoked by the state, by the by the IRS. We are reinstated. All the paperwork that I submitted has to be in state. What year was that? What year was what? When you got reinstated? 2012. So how long was the advice and tenure without, or when did it get terminated? The thing is, it was not terminated. It was automatically revoked. When we received that notification of automatic re revocation, we submitted our new packet to the IRS. The IRS stipulated that as long as your application is pending, it's pending to be processed, we are allowed to continue as a nonprofit organization. And this was verified by Dennis Rooster, who was the IRS um, agent that I was speaking with directly for our, our um, situation, our case. Why was it revoked? It was automatically revoked because um, years ago, a prior board, committee, board, the way it was made up, um, left, documents were destroyed, we were left with nothing. So the IRS changed the way that they submit, that they required organizations to submit documentation. We were not the only organization that was automatically revoked. They had a list of over 500,000 organizations throughout the US that were automatically revoked because of this change in filing system. The IRS only asked you, how much do you make? We make under $50,000. So we just answer a series of two or three questions, and that's it. You make so, under $50, we make under $50,000. Under $50,000. Yes. She thought you said $150,000. So I told you, that's a problem. So I told you, the documentation and the, the quantities of everything that she was asking for, I don't have. Because I was not asked for that by the IRS. Okay? So I could not answer those questions as she's asking me. Because they are not they don't exist. Exactly. Now, if you want to know what happened during those years and prior to that, as you can figure out who that vice, who that president was at that time, and direct all of your questions to that person. Because the only thing that I can respond for is from the time that I came in to now. No, it's definitely. Okay. That's why you had told me that if you make under ten thousand no. dollars, you don't have to say it. That's and that was our conversation. I would not say that. I can't. Okay. Oh, and so, oh, it's just no. for the sake of argument. So then, we, then the form 990, you know, I, I know the form 990, 990N, which is a simple survey. Form 990N, which is a simple survey. You have to submit it. Yes, everybody has to submit it. So is there a problem just providing the information? Do you see how many times you just quoted your bylaws? I can't, I can't see. You just quoted your bylaws like four times here, saying that your bylaws say this, bylaws say that. But when I emailed and I asked for a copy of your bylaws so that I can see it, okay, don't provide Now, because the conversation that you and I had, you told me that, you said, Jenny, do not take this personally. I'm making this request to you cannot go to LA32 to find out what organizations are asking for the money and how they're going to be and stuff like that. I'm like, great, fantastic. Make sure that any of these 
uh, questions that you're asking, you're also asking other organizations. Because I will not be singled out. You're not being singled out. I have not finished. Okay? Go ahead, Jen. I'm listening. So, not only that, okay? Part of the other, you see now, completely serving out this. The other part of the conversation was that you told me that you personally, personally, did not feel that we deserve two thousand five hundred dollars. So that is not true. That is not true. So that is absolutely well, you know what? This not is what true. I was thinking. You misunderstood yes. that conversation. No. That is absolutely well, not true. Well, in the same way that you're Jenny, misleading people about what you're saying. That is absolutely not true. Is no. Not true. I'm sorry. No. That is not true. You did. That That's is exactly what you told me. You said I feel that the vice intended committee should get something, but should not receive five thousand dollars. The two thousand. No. You're that is absolutely. No. I'm just going to do this, and I want this on record. No, that's that's not finished. Okay. That's that is the reason. After that conversation, that I started saying, "I'm like, okay, well, now she's putting in her personal thing." Yet LA32 has not submitted to me in writing a request when our ministry, where she was the authorized entity, to ask for these documents. Documents that she was asking for. Okay. And it wasn't until I spoke to Lisette at the last LA32 meeting. And I told her what was going on. And then a few days later, after our conversation, you sent a certified letter to me to the IRS. Correct? Yes. yes, requesting all these documents, which legally I don't have to correct. Okay? Why not just respond to Now, well, no, because now that you switched it and you started sending out these things, I will be my friend. I checked with the California Association of Nonprofit. I checked all over the place. If we need to lawyer up to to submit the appropriate responses to your questions and spend all of the community's money that is going for the break on this situation, then that's what it will have to do. Why? Because why did you submit a certified letter to the IRS when I had told you that you and I could meet at the, at the CB14 office, in the library, or at Absolute Point, or anywhere else that you would like, so that I can show you these documents? I told you that I would show you these documents. So why would you send a certified letter to IRS? Which I did call the IRS and I asked them, did you receive this letter? This is what's going on. And they said, yes. Do I have any issues? No, you're in complete compliance. That was the response. So I don't have any problems with any of that. I know you're in complete compliance with the IRS, mm -hmm. the state of California, and with the IRS. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to now move to you. Our